When you got the order, I could virtually guarantee they said some stuff like this. If you did sell them, well, let's go ahead with it. Oh, when will it be delivered? Or when can we take possession? Uh, does it come in other colors that I could select? Or is there more charge for option A than there is for option B? Uh, wh what do we do next? Uh, uh, do, do we have to sign anything? Is there a contract? Is there a credit application? Are, are you going to need a deposit? And on and on the litany goes of the language that people will use when they're going to buy from you. Oh, by the way, I forgot this one. Or at least I saved it for last. One looks at the other when there's more than one party as a prospect or customer and says, what do you think? Now, whenever the prospects are reacting to us like that, we know we're going to get the order. Now, what do they say when you're not going to get the order? Oh, they say stuff like, uh, well, we want to think about it. We'll let you know. We'll get back to you. Leave us your card and we'll call you. Uh, by, by the way, if we call and you're not there, do you get credit for this? Uh, we want to get some other prices. Are your prices too high? Or we want to shop our bids? Or we're not quite sure of you? Or we never make a decision this rapidly? Or I have to run it past my boss? Or we're over budget right now? Or we are so satisfied with our regular source of supply that we would not make the change? Now, all of this is the language that you've heard over and over again. And by the way, there is one I haven't dropped in yet because you'll hear it over and over again. Say, Dave, we're not going to buy right now, but you're one heck of a salesperson. Why is it that in the litany of language that we hear, we don't hear these words? Why don't we hear those words? Why don't we hear the word yes or no? For the simple reason, salespeople have been taught never to ask a question which can be answered with a yes or no. And because we are taught never to ask a question that can be answered with a yes or no, we put ourselves in a position where we're not asking for the order. I am going to ask you to write these two words down. I'm going to suggest to you that we're going to deal with a format that requires you to ask for the yes or no, and that it's a lot simpler than you think. And even though you've been taught over and over again to never ask a question which can be answered with a yes or no, I am going to reassure you that by asking a question which can be answered with a yes or no, you have a better chance of getting the order. I mean, suppose I were to say to you, at the conclusion of a presentation like this, I normally get three kinds of responses. That's when the people say, gee, I like that. Let's go along with it. Or they give me another response and say, no, <laughs> this is not for us. And I realize we can't be for everyone. But Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, may I suggest that many people say, I want to think about it. I'll let you know. We'll get back to you. And the reason they do that, they don't want to hurt my feelings. Now, if you like our idea, say yes. If it's not for you, don't hesitate to say no. Now, watch my face because I will accept a no as gracefully as I will accept a yes. We're going to deal with that, the psychology of closing, getting people to respond this way, and then what is the absolute zip flat out worst you can hear? The word no, and I will deal with. How to deal with that to take you closer to your sale.